Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight? Today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Got a beer today from, uh, it's a collab beer. And this is between Varietal Brewing Company and Fort George Brewing Company. Varietal, I want to say, is out of Washington. I think they're out of Washington State. Uh, Fort George is out of Astoria, just over the bridge, so they did a collab with them. Uh, it's called Ninja Stars. It's a West Coast IPA at 7.5%. And this was canned. Well, it's Best Buy 722, so we're, it's pretty fresh if you're going on a six month kind of thing. I think, right? Let's see, March, or April, May, June, July. Four. So it's like two months old, probably. Yeah. 7.5% for Idle Beer Company and Fort George Brewing Collaboration. Um, West Coast IPA Collaboration brewed with Washington grown Jeannie Barley from L I N C Malt, Link Malt. Whirlpool hopped with Chinook, Incognito, and Yukonot, Lupomax. Then dry hopped with Nelson Sauvin. Chinook Lupamax and you cannot Lupamax pellets. I'm gonna have to look into those Lupamax th pellet thingies. I don't know. I always used flowers. I always like to use flowers when I uh, sometimes I use pellets. I, mean, I haven't brewed in a long time, so can't wait to get into it with this new brewery. All right. Um. So let's uh, let's put this into a glass. Let's do that. Keep wanting to go over to the other side. I'll stop there. This is a real light colored beer. Um, yeah, let's get a port about a finger head. Let's get into the nose. Mm, it's f like footy and floral. Hold on, give me a second. That was weird. I'm getting like a Spicy, musky, herbal, floral, like daisy floral or something. Maybe even a little rose. Gardenias or something. Yeah, there's some kind of weird floral thing going on. Not a whole lot of sweetness or like caramels or anything like that. Mm, it has a lightness in the smell too. It's not real heavy. All right, so it's already lacing up. I couldn't get the other thing. I didn't want to say like footy or locker roomy kind of. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, there was some kind of weird thing going on. I didn't get any f like f citrus or it was more floral. Yeah. Lacing already starting up. Good white head already went down. The retention's there, though. It's sticking around. It's not going away or anything. I could regenerate it in a heartbeat. <clears throat> it's a straw-colored beer. And uh, it's a clear... It's a, a chill haze beer. Chill haze. It's got a medium, slow, medium rising bubble. You can see through the beer. It's just chill haze. So it's a clear beer, but chill, chill haze. Um, yeah, so... Good, let's drink it. Cheers. A lot like the aromas. Spicy, earthy, floral. There's a weird peppery funk in this. First of all, it's definitely a West Coast. It's got a nice bitter finish. A big, let's say a big bitter finish, and not, not a nice bitter finish. Um, I'm getting 
like a cracker malt, Pilsner malts. I get maybe a slight grapefruit lemon. Yeah, slight. I get a grapefruit. But the the feel the mouth feels so light. It's like a, a well the body's light. The body's very light for a seven and a half percent. It's not very thick. It's very thinned out. It's very filtered. The mouth feel is kinda dull. It's all right. It's just it. Yeah, it's it's not dull. It's more mouth feels kind of like bitterish, like a bitter, dry mouth feel. It's just kind of it's wet. It dries off, medium dry, a medium finish with that. It dries in the finish. Alcohol is not present at all. It's kind of tangy and watery. with a big burst of hops. So you're getting your West Coast feel. It's a definitely a, a, you know, it's, it's it's an American IPA for sure. American IPA pushing West Coast. Uh, it is definitely a West Coast and it shows that. So that's good. But for a seven and a half, I would have expected a little more. Um, it's got that Pilsner kind of thing. I'm starting to get kind of a pear. I get pear and apple, <clears throat> a little apple in there. There's like a fruit, maybe from the yeast or spice earthiness is in there. The floral comes through more in the nose, but it's still in the flavors. It just it's just very bitter and wet. Dries in the finish, but it's just wet all the way through with light flavors. It's not real punctual with flavors. Yeah. So, out of 10 hops, I would give this, uh, I'd, I'd probably give this like eight, eight hops. <laughs> I, yeah, it wasn't, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's drink, it's drinkable. It, it's drinkable. You can drink this. It's not off-putting or anything like that. I wouldn't have minded trying this maybe at a little newer date. Maybe, maybe right fresh or off the tap. It's always a better way to try it, but, um... But it's 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 really nothing to talk about, you know. It's it's not it's not it's not terrific. It's more average. Out of a hundred, I'd probably yeah, I'd probably go like eighty eight, eighty ish, eighty ish, on the low eighty. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. But hey, it's a collab. Sometimes they don't work out very well, or. Could be packaging, could be anything. So I don't know. But I do like Fort George quite a bit. Just had their, uh, one of their beers. Uh, their, uh, the magnetic fields. Magnetic fields. And that's very, very tasty, very orange forward, and very lovely. So, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eight hops out of ten. Right on. You guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. I'm out of here.